So recently Halo Insider rolled out their multiplayer beta for Halo Infinite and it's scheduled for this weekend as well as next weekend. I thankfully after signing up for the beta received an invitation to join in on this. So I thought I'd cover Halo Infinite because Halo was my favorite franchise back in the day. I got out of it a little after Halo Reach, but I absolutely loved Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, and Halo 3. Like, I have so many good memories playing those games. Believe it or not, Halo 3 is what really got me into online gaming more. Halo 3's multiplayer was freaking awesome. But yeah, I thought I'd give Halo another chance, and so far, I have been enjoying it. There's been some bumps here and there, but after all, this is a beta. It is a technical multiplayer preview, so I can't judge it too much over the little bumps I have had. For the most part, I have been enjoying playing this, and I'm excited to be starting my first video off going over the Academy that's in the game. Keep in mind, this is a multiplayer beta, so I'm not able to access campaign or anything like that, in case some of you may be curious about that. I'm only going to be breaking down things in multiplayer for now. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to Academy here. And as you can see, when we go here, we'll have weapon drills as well as training mode. So let's just go ahead and get into weapon drills real quick here before getting into training mode because that has much more features than weapon drills. What the drills are, are basically challenges for you and training for you with specific weapons. So let's go ahead and just use a newer weapon here. Let's go ahead and choose the skewer for my weapon drill. As you can see, once you choose it, we'll have three different choices to choose from. I'm not exactly sure if they plan on making more than just three, but for now we get three, and we have a chance to rank them all the way up to get three stars, which can be a little challenging and time consuming. So yeah, let's go ahead and just try out Skewer 1 here. So yeah, to begin the drill, you're gonna have to do is just pick up the weapon that you chose. Kebab them all, Spartan. Go. Act fast, Spartan. Thirty seconds remaining. And when you pick it up, you'll get some bots that'll spawn, and you just have to take them out as quickly as possible. I don't know why I said that. I'm assuming you guys already realized that because of the timer and, and how the announcer tells us to act fast, but it doesn't hurt to mention. would be impressed so yeah as you saw there we get a score at the end and that score will judge you on whether or not you get a three star two star or one star on what you're participating in which three stars mean that you have mastered that specific weapon drill two star means you could still do better with your score but three is considered the highest one being the lowest. Now that doesn't mean you can't keep challenging yourself and trying to get a better score, but the max rank is considered three stars. We can't get like a five star ranking status, at least at the moment. I don't know if things are gonna change in the future or something, but yeah, that's how the ranking is. But yeah, anyways, now for those of you that are curious about the numbers that are next to each weapon, for example here, Needler 1, 2, and 3, the differences are what you probably assumed, the difficulty. For instance, the number 2 weapon drills, the bots will move, but their movements will be predictable. All they'll be doing is running straight in a certain direction, and then they'll stop, and then they'll eventually turn around and run straight in another direction. But with the three star weapon drills, the bots will be moving, crouching, and strafing. So they're less predictable than the two stars. They don't just run. And each one, you can challenge yourself and try to get high scores on them. Which your high scores will be saved too under each category, one, two, and three. And as you can see, if you do manage to master them, it'll fill in all of the stars to be white. You right below the weapon, it'll show your high score too if you want to challenge yourself and try to beat your current score that you have. Even if you have mastered it, you can still try getting higher scores until you get the highest score possible. And then you won't be able to get a higher score, which I don't even know if that's possible. But still, you get the point of weapon drills now, I'm sure. But anyways, now let's go ahead and get into the training mode. There is much more to go over within this. First off, you can select the kind of map that you want to play on. As for example here, I got the 343 industry maps. We can choose from Bazaar, Live Fire, or Recharge during the multiplayer beta. But of course, in the future, 
when this is no longer a beta and it's actually officially out on December 8th of this year, then yeah, there will be more choices. But for now, this is what we have to choose from. Let's just go ahead and fire up the training mode on this map here, Live Fire. Okay, so as you can see, I just got into training mode and there will be bots in here with you. Now you can immediately turn these off. Actually, you can do a whole lot of stuff within training mode just by simply pressing start and then going to training options. Look at all of these options you can choose from to tinker around with in training mode. So let's just go over all of these real quick before getting into them. So we can change up our primary and secondary weapon within the training options. We can also change up our primary and secondary grenades. We can also, which I love this, choose what kind of equipment we want to tinker around with. Which, by the way, I apologize about that stuttering that's happening in the game. That's just some technical difficulties that's happening during this beta. That'll, of course, be fixed by the time the game officially comes out, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm going to go with the grapple shot. The grapple shot just makes me feel like Spider-Man in the game. It's awesome. Anyways, you can also just turn off the bots if you want to just explore around the map and get to know it a bit more or something. And you can choose the bot difficulty, of course as well as reveal enemy locations. You can make it so they're always on, so you'll know where they're always at at all times. Anyways, you can also turn on play fighting, which I'm not exactly sure what that is quite yet. I'll figure out further sometime in this video though. Anyways, we can also have infinite ammo and deathless, which means we're invincible and we're not able to die. So yeah, quite a bit of options here to choose from, and who knows if this is all the options they're gonna have. There may be more when the official game comes out or just over time. They may update some more in the game. Anyway, so I'm going to turn on infinite ammo for one. So, yeah, I got that on. I'm also going to make it so I can't die. No bots on whatsoever because I just want to explore around and have some fun with the grapple shot. Show that off a bit more because that is something new with Halo Infinite. And, yeah, I think this is good enough settings for what I want to do. Let's just go ahead and go into the match now. As you can see in the bottom right, we do have infinite ammo. And you can see all of the bots leaving to the left when you go to just choose to turn off the bots. So I thought that was pretty cool. We don't have to wait for no loading screens or anything. It just immediately happens within this training mode. It's nice. Anyways, now check this out. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the grappling hook. This thing makes me feel like Spider-Man. Woo! This is awesome. Let's try to go back. <laughs> oh! It has a timer on it. Just get the timing down nicely. You be jumping from building to building. Or just know the right spots to hit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just spawn four enemy bots. Keep them at marine level because who cares? And we should be all right, hopefully. Just have a bit of fun against them. This is what it's also all about. Trying to have fun. And look at that, our hook can attach to enemies and it'll drag us to them. <laughs> so cool one deadly combination Woo! oh no I'm dead <laughs> I have to say that the grappling hook is so much fun and so is this training mode hopefully this is a good enough summary though over what it's all about you can change up quite a bit and have a bit of fun and you have the freedom as well you don't have to wait through no loading screens or anything like that you can just change up whatever you want immediately just by pressing pause and going down the training options and just you know changing up what you want to change you can make also the bots way harder than what you are seeing with me currently let me actually show you that real quick let me show you the bots at max difficulty sports and difficulty all right, so those marine bots left. Now the Spartan bots are joining. Let's see. Oh gosh. Haha, <laughs> I escaped. Woo! Oh, 
that was nice. Grand slam. Grand slam. Heads up. Spider-Man coming through. Where are they? Oh. <laughs> Boom! Who knew you could have so much fun just playing against bots? Just practicing. Man! I can't believe Halo's actually making a little comeback, dude. It's been so long. That was a crazy ninja I just pulled on that guy with the hammer. Well, it's a bot. I shouldn't feel that accomplished. But, man, it's been a while since I've actually said I ninja'd someone. I haven't played Halo in so long. Oh my gosh, the hammer knocked me all the way back. Alright, yeah, there you guys have it. Go ahead and get rid of these bots. Boom. And just like that, they're gone. Hopefully you all enjoyed this overview over the academy and the weapon drills and the training mode and how they work. I would love to know some of your guys' thoughts about all of this. I can't wait for this game to officially release on December 8th of this year. But yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Peace.